I'm I'm a big Kyler, Kyler Murray fan. I was a fan before he came, so I'm excited for him. He's just a cool kid. He's one of those guys that's been, you know, you ever meet the guy that's been cool his whole life? And, like, certain stuff is just like, I've been the man since I was four, bro. Like, you don't have to tell me that I'm going to have a great game on Thursday. Like, I know that. You know what I mean? And that's that's cool to be around guys like that. Because I was the same guy. I'm, I'm just like that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. It's not good. The offensive line looks like it did last year. Well, apparently Gilbert's not that hurt. So it's okay. Everybody's not that hurt in football. That's how it works. So we're all day to day. We're all questionable. You know, some mornings you feel doubtful. But you got to get through the day, you know. You got to get through practice. And right now the Cardinals need their five starters on the offensive line. Or else it could be a long season. Tuesday before the preseason game. Man, look at these clouds, man. We're doing a walk and talk because we we're a little doing busy. At camp? Well, can't we golf in today's weather? This is beautiful. Yeah, it's like 100 degrees. It's amazing. It feels great. All right, so the team did not sign Michael Crabtree. Uh, Marcus Gilbert tweaked his groin. Yeah, groin, you know, and he, is not really forefront with uh, injury news. So, groin, hamstring, I think, in that general area. Yeah. Uh, he did not practice today. Uh, AQ Shipley had a Veterans Day off. DJ Humphreys was back in the lineup. Uh, they had uh, Mason Cole working some left guard. We asked DJ Humphreys if he's worried about or concerned if his offensive line is already banged up. He basically said no, because we're passing along now as the other guys. Everybody's going to know what to do. Uh, I'm a little concerned because I don't want to repeat of last year. Uh, but it is early. I'd rather get these injuries out of the way. You know, Justin Pugh out, I think, three to four weeks with a shoulder injury, so hopefully he's ready to go by the start of uh, the season. But it was a little weird to see the offensive line out there already banged up, and they haven't even played a preseason game yet. Not good. What do you think of Kyler's press conference? Because he, he said a couple times, he said that uh, they're treating it mentally like it's a regular game, but he yeah. also said it's not the real thing at least four or five times, so... It shows you kind of what he thinks about preseason. He is so confident. Like, it is, it just oozes out of him. I mean, he is clearly, uh, his confidence level is, is super high. A lot of his teammates point out to that. They use the word cool, that this kind of cool factor he has allows him the ability of him not to really worry about things. A lot of the guys in the locker room, too, as well, were telling us that, like, you know, he doesn't really show his emotions that well. He stays even keel, which for a rookie, it's interesting, DJ Humphreys even made a joke like, hey, this guy knows I'm going to go out, play well, right. and, you know, see you next time. Yeah. That's kind of his attitude. So uh, I just can't wait to see it in person. The offense is going to be super vanilla. Mm -hmm. Base plays, as a guy who's run the spread offense before, uh, very simple. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. Um, they're base packages, base plays, base formations. So, Doubtful that we see him run or take off. Yeah, or he, he was asked today risk. if he wants to get hit. He goes, this is he goes, of course I don't want to get hit. Not really. I don't really want yeah. to get hit. And he also said the last time last time he technically got hit was way back in uh, January when they, Oklahoma lost yeah. to Bama. So. You know, it was interesting. I, I, I tried to see, uh, to get something out of him. I asked him a question. You know, uh, you had a lot of success. You know, give me one time where you had adverse oh, yeah. times on the field. And, you know, how did you handle that adverse? What was the toughest adversity you ever faced on the field? Uh, and he basically said losing. So... He really yeah. point to a specific moment, uh, but I thought no. it was very telling. That it was just like, "Hey, man, losing." Like, well, he's know, very... even even the interceptions aren't tough. The bad plays aren't right. tough. When the offense messes up, aren't tough. Uh, but it's losing that bothers him the most. And when when I look back on it, I, that's really the perfect answer because you want your quarterback. Uh, when you lose, you want it to bug him and you want it to hurt him. And as a guy who hasn't lost much, right. uh, you could definitely tell that it's going to bother him when when they're not going to go 16 and 0. So when they do lose a game, right. uh, it is definitely going to bother. How it will affect him. And, and yeah, I think I think every time that he's asked, what's his favorite part about the game? What's his favorite part about the football? It's always a one word answer to winning. So the thing he hates the most is losing. The thing he loves the most is winning. It's a good combination, pretty, uh, right? It's pretty much how it goes. We still don't know how much he's going to play. We still don't know how many times first team offense is going to get rolled out there. I wouldn't expect much. Uh, 
usually 10 to 12 plays, if that. If, if they that. drive down one series, uh, that could be it. I want to remind everybody, guys, I'm sweating here. Never mind. Did I say it was cool out here? It's yeah. hot. It's, it's hot. kind of humid. Um, just want to keep in mind, everybody, remember last year, the first team offense looked like they were going to be Super Bowl champs. Take it with a grain of salt. Yes, we want to see the excitement from Murray. Uh, yes, we want to see them complete passes. Let's just let's hold on to the basics. Can they do the basics? And then let's wait till they flip on uh, the switch when it comes to real football. So let's just see this offense get out there, move the football. We're allowed to be excited about it, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think we all need to tailor that excitement just a little bit because if last year taught us anything, the Cardinals were preseason Super Bowl champs. Right. And then, well, the Detroit last, Lions went 4 0 in the preseason and then yeah. they went 0 16. So, yeah. nothing is indicative of anything in the preseason. Yeah. You just kind of hope that they have it together and nobody gets hurt. My arm's getting tired. Uh, 12 news, 7 p.m. Thursday, preseason pre game, game one. starts at 4 o'clock. We live out here, 4, 5, and 6. Pre-game show, 6 30. Start time, 7 o'clock. Live post-game coverage, 10 o'clock. Should be fun. We'll see you guys then. Thanks for joining us.